Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, his brain's destroyed now, man. It's a man on his last breath. I bet this kid disappears, man. He gets fucking marked. What's special about Wednesday, man? If his ultimate goal is to make these kids care about their own lives, he's doing a pretty fucking piss poor job of it. <laughs> Maybe it's not. Well, it works 1% of the time. Fuck yeah. Did you finish uh, Celeste, David? The premise? Oh, There's a council of yokai who essentially haunt the school. They're just like, you know, the seven or eight mysteries of the school. And just an episodic thing of them doing shit to people. And in the first one, it's like, this girl Mary dies, or she kills herself and becomes a yokai and that's kind of like your your relation to the rest of the yokai and Hick and Bon is like one of them um, but it tends to be more just at least in the first one messages about bullying and through like the surface level is the ghosts and all that shit but it's a lot more about just your typical Ryukishi bullying's bad and people are mean at school and shit this one's got a little bit different thing going on right now. Uh, but this is like the first real chapter. The other chapter was just kind of like, shit. They just showed off some of the new ghosts, I guess, and meandered about something with a school building and a fucking soccer trees booze. I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, this particular episode right here is about the 13th step ghost. I guess he's the most, second most powerful ghost in the school, what they said. And, uh, if you step on the 13th step, he kind of just spawns there for certain people. He hunts you down every day. If he catches you, he, like, eternally tortures you in hell or something. Um... And so you have to survive for like 49 days by running through the school from him for 49 days. And it's like, he adds like 5 minutes on every day or some shit. So, he's just trying to figure out how she's going to do it. I guess she's like tired as fuck. But the people that he picks are like people who have pretty much given up on life and are like pieces of shit. So it's like... I don't know. There's probably some message in there we're gonna get, but... Dude. Okay, the first game's just bullying's bad. And... 
rabbits rape people at some point in there. Kind of random shit like that. It's pretty, pretty dull, the first one is. This chapter is good so far, but I hear it's like the only good one. Let's <laughs> see. This one's a lot more just self contained. There hasn't been like a big message yet. And I guess these kids who just don't care about living are interesting. I feel like uh, the character design is kind of crappy though. The guy who's like chasing them is not very spooky. Which kind of sucks. Could be a lot better if it was. It just looks like kind of some fucko, man. Um, I'm sure there is a reason, Sweet Cheeks. If you're that desperate, then why wouldn't she think about it? Hey, he likes downtrodden, worthless kids, so you should probably stop being a downtrodden, worthless kid. Yeah, the art's better, but it's still a Rikishi art. The music's fine. Yeah, dude, what the fuck, man? It's not like it's everyone for themselves, man. You could just, like, you know, you could just help them. This song's so loud, dude. Hopefully I'm still audible. I get, I get closer to the mic, man. I need to put on a hoodie. I might go out and get some drinks, too, we'll see. This is the guy hunting them, he's, he's a Shinigami or whatever. Spooky, isn't he? Looks like he's wearing a fucking rug. It's a bit too loud this time around. Yeah. It's a really loud song. Sometimes I can't turn it down anymore, really. Is it better? Might be better because I'm stuck in the mic. I didn't change anything. Let me turn it down 50% for you guys. I'll just get up on the mic. Yeah. I'll just get right up next to the mic. That'll make it better, hopefully. I need to start sucking the mic, anyways. I can not talk as loud, more chill. I just want to mumble. Suck eggs, motherfucker. Oh, he keeps bringing up the same point where she does. So obviously that's going to be the, the key, I'm sure. You have to care more about than just escaping the pain, man. 
Or maybe I'm assuming Ryukyushi's brain is bigger than it is. Hope. Couldn't she? Couldn't they just talk to him a lot? I mean, the first day she barely ran, she just talked to the guy shitload. Yeah, this song's just poorly balanced. Just really loud. I mean, I'm at 1% and I can barely hear myself talk. Yeah, but I just mean like, they're talking right now, so they're not running, you know? Like, she could just try talking to the guy a lot more to get breaks. Yeah, but like, a lot. This is the second time they've talked, like, yeah, during a run, from what we've seen. Maybe that's the, the secret, man. Ask him about his hobbies. Oh, okay, I see. I missed that line then. It was just because the sprites were just sitting there, I just assumed. But every time they talk, they're just kind of chilling. Yeah, that's true. If he started talking, I guess he'd want to haul ass. Not like he said he'd not come at you if you're talking, unless you're yelling at each other down the hallway. Okay, so when they die, they get like fucking erased, man. That's what happened in the original, right? Then they just disappear. She was pretty. If you say so. Burn sense tingling? Yeah, this is Higginbono. She gonna come there to save him then? Maybe Mary would. What, is he being a nice guy and not making him run as long on PE days?
to what, just run your heart out outside of the game, though? Just a, just a little more, man, but... We'll see. I feel like it's not going to go as well as she might think, but... Yeah, that's this big goal, man. Everybody's super swole. fucking song dude That's totally what he's going for here man Oh uh -huh. He might torture those who feel horrible about themselves for the rest of eternity, but he's a good guy, man. <laughs> Teaching her to eat healthy meals, exercise, and sleep correctly.
having a little banter, man. Well, fuck you too, buddy. <laughs> Runs away. Sounds like he's just playing mind games to me, dude. I mean, if Ryuki, she's going for the... This guy is trying to make people who care about their life, then... If you can make them still not care, then it ends up the same way. So just tricks and shit. Or maybe he doesn't want them to, like, care, but... Trick them into not giving a shit. Who knows. That might be too big brain, man. No, no, man. Maybe the dude knew I should say that. Maybe he's reconfirming something. Maybe I'm, I'm giving this dude a little too much credit. I really give too much credit with this character. And I'm guessing this is why they made him not spooky, because then he wouldn't. Wouldn't have a. Um... Much of an emotional streak. He looked like just some spooky dude. Oh man, that could make him like look spooky sometimes.
Hopefully it confirms it's the 49th of the day. You think you're all good, and then the next day you're like, fuck. Considerable leg strength and stamina. true yeah it's it's totally true like i have the final sprint the dude comes out of his game to fucking do a big sprint in the school fucking triathlon or whatever marathon it's fine The extra drama, man. At least they're not fighting on a school rooftop having like a brawl, man. <laughs> what the fuck is this song, dude? <laughs> Might be too much for your Kishi. So loud, too, man. Is it? I don't even remember when they used it. The Latin choir. So, yes. The great bunny soon? Oh, okay. Eating seconds of a delicious meal.
Well, you're not wrong, I guess, man. <laughs> Learn, play, laugh. Mikey, just do it. Should have put a little sponsored message in there, man. Yeah, this one's surprisingly decent. Yeah, yeah. He does a better job at just keeping it simple, man. Like, the first chapter had way too much fucking, like, random... Like, he didn't have a clear-cut idea what the fuck he wanted to do, so it just didn't make any sense. Well, this chapter is, like, pretty clear, simple message. It's unveiled over time, and there's a lot of, like, thriller shit. I think it's fine. It's a good chapter. Well, it's gonna be a damn shame that this is the only good fucking chapter in Higgin' Bono. Huh? I could handle the episodic, like, lessons of life thing he tries to do in Higgin' Bono if they were all quality, but half the time it's just, like, him fucking beating you over the head with it. With nothing intro, no, like, entertainment value behind it. What we were saying earlier. Definitely the tune in though, man. I am the wind, dude. And it starts, the song starts with I am the wind. Funny if he just fucks her up at the end, though. What would Ryuki she mean by this? She runs so hard, she just crashes in the gate and dies. Okay, we didn't need that line though. I became the wind. Yeah, she just ran right into the afterlife. So fast, she transcended. Is this a running advertisement? <laughs> Sorry, God, there needs to be a Nike promo. What in the fuck? Dude, they just ruined it. In one swell, one, one swift motion, dude. This head doesn't even match this outfit. Fucking soiled it right here, dude. The art, dude, had to rear its ugly head. Was this dude some kind of like track and field instructor in a past life? Um,
Yeah, he just likes running. Or improving people's life through passion for his sport. Which is fun. Thankfully, it wasn't like... They weren't pushing the big brain too much, man. Kept the message simple. Yeah. <laughs> Holy kids, though. Let them burn, man. Let them burn. What if you never noticed the pattern, man, you know? Like, fuck, every one of those guys might have gave a shit by the end. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Getting some Darwin shit. Yeah, if you think too hard on it, Ryukisu's messages here kind of fall flat. Because at the end of the day, people are put into those situations. Like... You're put into a situation where you feel that bad because of stuff outside your control. Like maybe at one point you're hopeful, but is it really their fault to not be hopeful while getting completely kicked into the fucking dirt for their whole life, man? Like, not really, dude. Like, <laughs> what was he's just saying? If you're bullied, then just fucking suck it up until someday something changes? Like, I mean, I guess it's not wrong, but I don't think you need to burn an eternal hell and pain for it. Slam with the best dude. <laughs> yeah. It's like those get good motherfuckers, man. That's what it seems like. <laughs> get good, nerds. If you don't like getting bullied, just fuck it up and stop getting bullied. Let's not let's not think about those guys, boys. I think that they were just there to make this seem more intense. <laughs> Ricky shouldn't think too hard about them, unless magically those guys didn't actually get killed or something. He's only fucking successfully had this happen to two people. God knows how many dudes he's killed. I think his... If that's his big goal, he's doing a shit fucking job of it, man. I think he's just got more of a mean streak, but... If they're trying to have him be a... Mean guy with a heart of gold, he's doing a shit job, man. Two out of three? Did he's killed like that. I mean she said there was at least dozens of people apparently being tortured in the pit of hell. That was his stomach, so he's got a pretty low percentage of success. Yeah, <laughs> he killed millions, man. <laughs> Save two fucking bucks, man. I wonder what the other kid turned out like. I'm fucking idiot. It's me boys, I just play video games all day, man. I mean, the message really wasn't that bad. I mean, I agree for the most part, man. There's some people who just think too much about shit. And all it causes is trouble. <laughs> yeah. I think that's probably the best way to think of him. He just really likes fucking running. And killing people who don't like getting motivated by running. <laughs> yeah, this was like easily the best. Like, by far. This was actually good. Like, I actually like this. It hasn't gotten, yeah, too preachy. It had a good amount of spookiness at the beginning and thriller shit. Her, like, situation was interesting. 
And the development's good, even if we saw it coming, I mean, it's good. I, I, that was a good episode, man. I don't know, I like it. I mean, the music was a little too loud, but... Maybe the- I mean, the tuny part was fine. It, it reminds me more of, like, a sports anime at the end, though. <laughs> Where they have the final, you know, volleyball team versus the big volleyball team, you know, the final run deal, but I mean, that's fine. Probably what he was kind of going for. Yeah, they ended at a good part. I, this was good, man. Why the fuck couldn't he pull it off, like, every time, man? What the fuck? Oh, this is gonna get shit again, man. It's gonna be rabbit rape all over again. <laughs> uh, I gotta take a break, man. Yeah, it's a crazy. I think he really, with the characters he made, they shackled them down. I've seen that before in other VMs. Where you get shackled down by the concept you introduced and the characters you introduced at the beginning. Probably like some C 